Hey guys, um, Shelly here. Just a little bit of relationship advice. Um, and yes, I'm qualified to give this because I've been in a lot of relationships. Um, I've gotten a bad rap in the past, you know. Um, perhaps, you know, I would I would be out and, and, and my brother and I would be out and, and we think we thought it would be really cool if he could point anybody out in a bar, restaurant, the mall, library, wherever. And I would see that person and be like, okay, my job is to go get them. Okay, that's all it was. Just, a, just you know, a number type thing. You know, okay, okay. We did do it in bars sometimes, and we did do it with, you know, obvious straight girls. And I would go. And I'd get them. And, and, but I'm drunk, you know? So, you know, obviously, I might have overstepped or, um, you know, might have talked them into doing things that they've never done before for the girl. And then I might have um, felt super, super bad and had to leave. Okay, so, now that that's out of the way. When you know a girl's not the right one, you know a guy's not the right one, you can move on. It doesn't make you a bad person, it makes you a smart person. And it makes you really care about them, and it makes you care about yourself. I mean, you don't want to drag something on when you think it's going to turn into this. If it's, not gonna, if it's not what it is at that moment, it's never going to be that. I don't cheat. I've never cheated. When I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. Now, if we happen to break up and need time to, you know, think things out or, you know, just see if it's see if it's going to work or if it's not going to work, then, you know, in those situations, uh, you know, those are my single nights. And that's actually, you know, in my long relationships, it's actually when I actually got laid. Um, but I don't really consider, I don't consider that cheating because if you guys say, well, let's take some time off, what are you taking some time off from? Your relationship. So if you take some time off your relationship, you're single. You know? That's how I look at it. But since my last big relationship with AF, um, I've had many um, dates or um, hookups or uh, big fucking mistakes, you know, and, and I've learned a lot. Am I going to stop dating? Am I going to stop going out there and trying to find the one? No, because I believe in true love. I believe in that, in that feeling where you're just overwhelmed. If you think about him when you wake up, you think about him when you go to sleep, and you think about him when you ache inside, your heart you just ache, and your body can't get enough of him. That's... That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that person who wouldn't hurt me for the world. And I wouldn't hurt them for the world. I want to... I want to fall in love. And, and that's what I'm looking for. So, if I'm an asshole, if I'm a dick, if I'm a slut, a whore, whatever I am, I'll take on all those names. If in the end, I find the love of my life. Cause she's out there. And I'm gonna find her. And when I find her, I'm gonna do things to her that she's never even fucking heard of. So, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. So, I'm a good person, and if you don't think I am, fuck you.